I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more of the adventures of Commander Shepard. This is Hill, and this is, as you already know, Mass Effect 3. All right, in our last episode, we freed Javik, the last Prothean, from a cryogenic... Well, we could call it a suspense cell or a cryogenic pod, depending on which era you're from. But anyhow, he's freed, he's now here on our engineering deck in his own quarters, and we're gonna go downstairs because... Oh my goodness, I have to keep up with these names. Specialist trainer told us that Cortez was troubled by something. Let's go. Right, that sounds like Cortez's husband. Let's talk with him and see what's going on. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Commander. Sorry, didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. Hmm. You watched him? Get taken? You were talking to him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Hmm. Remember that he cared. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. <laughs> oh, he's he's going to be a softer shepherd now. He's he's changing his renegade ways somewhat. I'm here for you. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here anytime you need me. I appreciate that, shepherd. I really do. But don't worry, commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Okay, so that is Cortez and his issues. We got four Paragon points for that. Um, I came down here earlier and noticed some things, I think, that have been added by EGM. Like this armory control. I'd never seen this in the vanilla game. It, the wall slides out with weapons. I guess these are the various weapons that we've unlocked and collected throughout our beginning adventures here. Go ahead and have that slide back. We also have stereo control, but we're going to just leave it quiet down here for now. Okay, the reason I came down here in addition to talking to Cortez is that I need to do some upgrades. So, the Matok 3, huh? Alright, here we go. Let's upgrade our pistol. Predator 3. 
Oh, when great, it jumps to the top of the list. And then come back down here again. And we will take the Avenger 3. Alright, so this will give us quicker cooldowns. Alright, and we've gotten some rewards for this. Gunsmith. Alright, and here are our upgrades. Uh, let's see. Check the procurement interface for the moment. Wow, Corsair armor. Look at this. Nice. It's interesting, though. I'm noticing in a lot of these armor sets, this one is expensive. Operative's armor. And it looks the same as this. I don't know if they're just using the same picture. But um, most of these um, armor sets seem to cater to like weapons and shields and whatnot. I mean this one does have the power recharge but not power per se. Well here we go. Paladin armor with the power damage and power recharge. So there are some. Look at this. The Slayer armor. I can actually wear, Shepard can wear the Slayer armor. Nice. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this backpack but it gives me 10% shield, 10% ammo capacity, encumbrance, speed penalty. Wow. Okay, I don't know about that. Uh, the, the Kawashi visor, we'll leave that alone. What is this? I can buy the Kodiak? Nicknamed the Combat Cockroach. I did not know that. I think... Don't we already have the Kodiak? Why would I buy this? And look at this. You can buy a Mako, too? Wow. And the Hammerhead? I tell you, this mod has really added a lot of stuff. And they want me to buy the Guard Dog. Now, the Guard Dog, when we first started the game, was wandering around down here. So, what, they took it away? All right. So, here we are with our Spectre stuff and back with this. armor nothing new there okay hydraulic decking we're okay there let's look at the weapon upgrades oh we no, nope, that's not what i wanted here the weapon bench let's see what we have as far as mods go here okay so a stability damper that increases the rounds and this is accuracy weapon stability I think I'd rather have a more stable weapon all right, so we can see our power recharge is up to 193% with a max of 200, which we're striving for. Now, we still have no upgrades or no mods for these pistols. Disappointing. All right, well, that's it. All right, let's head back up to the Combat Information Center. And it's time to get moving. I don't know what, uh... Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Missions we have. Oh, no. The Fall of Elysium. There's more. More defeats. Okay, so we got a, a news alert from ANN. From Alliance News Network Information Partners. Alliance officials confirm a local resistance movement has successfully pushed Cerberus forces off Eden Prime. Cerberus attacked Eden Prime for reasons that remain unclear and set up facilities to occupy the colony. But after constant attacks from a united populace, Cerberus troops retreated. Alliance officials are sending in evacuation transports now to get the colonists off-world before Reaper forces reach the colony. Yeah, they were almost there, too. 
We owe this victory to the Alliance, resistance leader Edward Crabb said in a prepared statement. The people of Eden Prime have always been ready to fight, but Alliance Intel gave us the tools we needed to push those Cerberus bastards off our planet. Many resistance fighters have said they plan to enlist to support the Alliance. All right, Major Chakwas, all right. I didn't know she was a major. Commander, with the amount of fire you and the ground team are taking, I need to acquire staff to improve our medical treatment. Fortunately, there is no shortage of volunteers. I have compiled the dossiers of four likely candidates. You will find them in the crew manifest. Okay. Where are the, um, oh, here is, here's the manifest. Is this, no, crew manifest. All right, so what have we got here? We still don't have a propulsion or power engineer. Medical team. Okay, I don't know these people. Okay, bonuses, plus two to health, power cooled. Oh, wow, a Solarian doctor. An Asari doctor, nice, a biotic specialist. And we have human doctor, weapon damage, power cooldown. Wow. I think I'm going to go with the neuro neurosurgeon, the Solarian doctor. All right. Okay, yeah, I hope that uh, jo Dr. Chakwas is pleased with my choice. Facilities, okay, we need to, now who is this? Oh, someone to cook. A barman, really? I think we'd rather have food. Oh, look, this would feed my fish by getting this person? Absolutely. <laughs> now I just need to get some fish. As you know, as you know, if you watched my last video, oh, there's non-crew specialist. Um, I not my last video, but um, the Mass Effect Two playthrough. I could not keep the fish alive, and I made the wrong choices with uh, Kelly. Unfortunately, she's dead now. <laughs> I tell you, the the list goes on. All right, so additional support. I can have Erdnot Rex. Okay. Well, he's already assigned. All right, additional squad, none. All right, well, we're good. We're, he's on standby. All right, I think that's going to do it for our manifest. All right, so crew bonus unlocked. <laughs> Fish being fed. I love it. <laughs> All right. And let's do a save. I would hate to lose that bonus. All right, let's see. What do we have? Have the Reapers taken over the entire Milky Way galaxy? I don't know. All right, so we're leaving Eden Prime. I know the Reapers were right here. I'm, I'm going to have to do the scan, though. Signal confirmed. Oh, see, there was something here. All right, fuel. Okay, that's it. Those are all the assets. I don't. What happened to the Reapers? Is the thing not there? Yeah. Look, the the Reaper. The, oh, good Lord! Look, they've taken over like a, a fourth of the quadrant. You've got to be kidding me! All right. So what is this? This looks like something. Somebody's in danger over here. All right. We're gonna have to go here. And investigate this Prothean site on Artemis Tau. And this is gonna, we're probably gonna have to leave. Alright, I'm gonna try to scan as close to these planets as possible. I found something. What? More fuel? Okay, so why are the. All right, that's it. That's 100% of the assets. Why are the Reapers, um, I don't know what you want to call these things, Reaper images, whatever, on these clusters if they're not here? 
Because I would expect immediate attack. I don't know. Are we still... It's still flashing. Is there something else here? Oh, no. It's saying 33% from, from this perspective. So what else is there? Oh, we have to go here to the Prothean site. You know, it pays to read, people. <laughs> it really does. All right. Here we go. Therum. Oh my goodness, this is from Mass Effect 1. This is where we found Liara. Signal confirmed. Two signals, in fact. Let's get this one. What is this, fuel? Okay, we can fill up. And then what's on Theorem? Alright, um, we'll just read part of this because I'm sure I read this in the Mass Effect 1 playthrough. Theorem is a distant but rich industrial world claimed by Human Systems Alliance. Its plentiful heavy metals have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on Earth. And you can read the rest of this if you would like to. Let's start the scan. Did we get a war asset? Lost and found. Ooh, we got two lost and found things. Avatar of Resilience. I don't know what those things are. Oh, we got Thera Minerals. All right, Mineral Resources. All right, so we've got more assets. All right, so here in this system, Knossos, we have 100% of the assets. So, let's go check out Sparta while we're here. Man, we are so lucky. All right. I'm going to take it that there is nothing here. Let's go. Did I already come through here? I probably did. All right, let's go. Back to the mass relay. Okay, so let's see what it says now. All right, Artemis Tau 100%. And it's not flashing anymore. Look at this. Look at all these Reaper presents. Okay, so what? Oh my goodness. The missing scouts. I think that's going to have to be our next mission, people. All right, let's head there. I really haven't consulted online like what order you should do, you know, these missions in. What's re the recommended order? Oh, sh here they come. Here they come. All right, let's get ready to go. All right. They didn't find us. Listening post. What's this? The listening post X-19 was built shortly after the Rachni Wars. Just in case any Rachni survived the annihilation of Suin, the post orbits the mass relay and is still manned and maintained, although today it largely exists as a customs checkpoint for researchers studying the Rachni homeworld. Among members of the council militaries, being assigned to the station is seen as a form of punishment or exile, considering that there have been no signs of sapient life on Suin for over a thousand years. Okay. We don't get anything for reading that? <laughs> okay, I cannot do any more scans though. Where, where, where are we? Where do I need to go? Okay, the missing scouts. One more scan and the Reapers will be here, so let's go. All right.
right, traveling through the Nima cluster, and we've arrived at Malazul. Malazul, people. Okay. Almost afraid to scan. All right, I think it's safe to scan when you're in a system that has a mission. I think we can say that that's the rule. But all right, we have arrived at... <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Ataku... You taku? I, 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 I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just ataku. We'll go with ataku. All right, we're here, and we will continue with investigate the missing scouts in our next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out.